The bill started out as a personal story for State Senator Thomas Presley, who brought his sister to testify about her husband slipping the abortion-inducing drug into cups of water to force her to end her pregnancy. An amendment was added on the bill after it passed the Senate to classify the two drugs as Schedule IV controlled dangerous substances. The classification is often used for drugs that are addictive and abused. You know, Senator Presley agrees with this amendment, and I do as well, because I think that um, when overutilized, this drug can be incredibly harmful. Over 200 doctors wrote a letter to legislators asking them not to pass the bill with the amendments on it. They explained how the drug is used for a lot more reasons other than abortions, such as inducing labor, treating miscarriages, and a lot more. The amendment was created by the powerful anti-abortion rights group Louisiana Right to Life. I think it's pretty terrible how this good bill was, was hijacked by outsiders who are not doctors and aren't even legislators. This prescription, these prescriptions have been used for a really long time and they're used probably thousands of times per day in this country. People will still be able to be prescribed the drugs, but patients and their doctors are added to the prescription drug monitoring programs list. Legislators also fear that it will lead to major delays in getting the medication to women in critical need and in rural areas.